think Aisha Bawari is being disrespected? Well, it's hard to say if she's being disrespected or not. I mean, one can't tell, one can't tell what is going on uh, behind the scenes. You don't have the full fact. We've only heard one side of the story. We've not heard the other side of the story. But I mean, uh, I mean, in my own opinion, I think the uh, it's more or less like an internal family issue. Uh, I don't think, to be to be honest, I think they should just resolve it. Okay, but what we from what we've heard, don't you think Mam Mandara is interfering into the family's business? I mean, if we are to go only, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm qualifying my statement. If we are to go only by what um, Asha Buhari has said, uh, then I think I think it's too I think it's a bit of too much of an influence. Uh, I mean, uh, the nation, the first family is the president, uh, the president is wife and um, his children. That's, that's the much we know. Nephews, cousins, extended families causing disruptions in the seat of power. I don't think it's acceptable. I think it's a distraction from the main things that are really affecting us in this country, to be honest. So if uh, Maman Daura's involvement, and uh, Mama, I mean the Daura family, Maman Daura, his children, his wife, uh, whatever, if what, they are, if what Aisha Bwari has said is true, I think they are out of order. I think they should just step back and allow uh, the president so, and his wife and any other person involved to consent. What, what do you have to say about President Muhammad Azbari's reaction to all this? How do you think How do you think the way he's handling it? How do you, what do you think about the way he's handling things? Well, if I were in his shoes, I won't come out in the public too, to address it. I'll probably address it internally. I think that's what is going on. I so won't come out in the you public. You have the opinion that probably President Muhammad Azbari is doing something about it, but we don't know. We don't well, know. It, well, he should. He should be doing something about it. I mean, if you have problems at your backyard, I mean, if you can't rule your own house, how can you rule a country? So I think the first thing he should be doing, an emphasis on the word should, should because I don't know if he's doing anything about it, but under normal circumstances, I'm, I, I'm thinking that he doesn't want, I mean, this is, this is bad, bad uh, PR for him. It's not good for him. It's not good for his government. So I think he should be doing something about it. He should just, he, he will most likely be dealing with the matter internally so that we can concentrate on the real issues that affect us as a nation, not internal family squabbles. So that's my, that's my opinion. He should be doing something about it. Um, speaking of um, Gabashe, he, he is the senior special assistant to the president of media and publicity. Do you think he, he, um, there are ways he should handle this? Talking of his loyalty, is it, should he be loyal to President Muhammad Bari? Because um, Aisha is alleging that he's been disloyal and following the orders of Mam Mandara. I think he has no business interfering in the family's business in the first place. That's not his job. His job is to be the spokesman for the president and for the presidency by extension. He has no business in the. Uh, he has no business with the internal um, uh, uh, issues or matters of the fam of the president's family. He has no. He has no. He has no business. So I think if what is if what Aisha said is true, uh, I think we are just wasting money paying him. I'm wasting taxpayers' money is paying him because that's not it was. That's not what he was um, appointed to do. What do you think about um, the position of the um, first lady being ruled out, as Aisha allegedly claimed? Well, it depends on the angle in which you're asking. I mean, if you are saying, um, what was my man? Uh, sorry, Shiu role there. Yes. Uh, well, I'd say. The office of the first lady, to begin with, is not a constitutional office. I mean, it's ceremonial, right? It's traditional. Sorry, it was a traditional office of that. Well, in some way, we have come to accept that there's such a thing as, yeah. No, it doesn't become an institution. It depends on what you mean by what an institution is. Maybe an institution that they created, but it's not constitutionally recognized, and as such, funds, state taxpayers' funds should not be allocated to it. But if anybody at all will not recognize or will want to scrap the office of the first lady, it shouldn't be Sheo Garba. It shouldn't be Maman Dara. Maman Dara is not an elected officer of the government. It's not a part of the presidency officially. He only has the privilege of being the nephew of the president. I mean, if anybody is going to say the office of the first lady no longer exists, I think it should be the president. It should be the president himself that says, look, the office of the first lady will not exist. It's no longer existent. I don't think it should come. I mean, Sheo Garba saying such a thing is beyond him. He's just a mere appointee of the president. Let him face his business and, I mean, maybe that's the reason why we, are, we hear all sorts of things that we hear from him. I mean, he's not even concentrating on his job. He's doing something else entirely. So, yeah.